Hey everybody, this is Brett, and uh, today I don't feel good at all because I have been doing a natural antibiotic called olive leaf extract. And from time to time, when I feel like I can do it, I will, and if, if I feel like I need to, and I generally do because I'm always needing to cleanse, and so <laughs> if I want to push it harder, I will do olive leaf extract. I'm also doing echinacea to uh, increase my immune system kick in. And so uh, for me, it also makes me want to fast because it makes me really nauseous and sick. So there, there you go. <laughs> I get the double whammy. And um, so I'm only doing one dose of each of those a day. <laughs> that's mellow, that's mild. If I do more than that, it's just too much for me, you know? You've got to listen to your body, and um, you know, the stuff is powerful. It kills everything. It's not supposed to kill off beneficial flora, which is good. And you know, this, these compounds in the olive leaves have been evolving for a long time. God knows. God only knows how long. <laughs> and they're very disease, disease resistant towards the bugs and various diseases that can attack a tree. And the olive leaf tree can live for a long time. And that's probably one of the main reasons. And uh, so, it works really good and um, and you don't the, the chances of, of some bacteria getting resistant towards this anti natural antibiotic are probably not likely and if it does happen you could ha you can switch to a different herb that's also a natural antibiotic and um, if you can think of any of those you know I guess garlic is one Garlic does the job on a lot of different things. But if you can think of some other ones, write them down below. I'm sure I could if I were thinking straight. <laughs> but I hope you are well and uh, be good.